Yes, hello everyone. This is your guy Davin the Geek again, and I am bringing you yet another Sony Vegas Pro tutorial. This video will cover how to turn your videos into high quality widescreen for YouTube. And first off, it's a it's good to have your videos in you know in high quality if you want a lot of people to see it because most people out there they don't have a very good internet connection and watching HD videos will just bog boggle down their connection and their video will just keep stopping and freezing up on them and that's not good you don't want that so it's good sometimes to make your videos and you know widescreen high quality it looks just like HD and you can make it clear and everything I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second so yeah so you gotta ask yourself that complex question, you know, who am I targeting with this video and should I make it in HD? Or you gotta ask yourself, does the audience who, who who will look up this video on YouTube, do they have a good connection or, you know, are they sophisticated enough to have a really good connection or something? I'm not saying people aren't sophisticated, I'm just saying, you know, there's different audiences out there, you know. Most of the masses out there, they don't have that good of a connection and you want something that can stream pretty good on their computer so let me get into this video and show you how to do it okay I'm gonna open up Sony Vegas here it's already open and make sure to bring your video in like always and all that stuff I'm sure you know how to do that and so yeah and you see the screen right here it's it's small and you don't want that so we're gonna to go to our project settings right here and I have a preset in here, so I'm going to go to it and I'm going to walk you through everything on there, you know, and tell you how to set it up yourself. So I'm going to go to my preset. It's down here, right there. And you see, you're going to want to come over here. If you don't have this, you're going to make your own preset in a second. So just come over here, set this to um, 960, you know, your width, then set your height to 540. Then come over here. Well, I don't know. You could leave this like that if you want, or you could put it on non-progressive scan. I I'll have it on non-progressive scan um, for myself, but you can have it yeah any kind of way you want. And come down here to um, pixel aspects aspect ratio and set that to square. That right there. Set it to that one. And this one right here, pixel format. That comes down to you if you want your video to come up like clear or something. I I leave it at eight bit, but um, you can put it on. 32 bit if you want, but I'm gonna leave it at 8 bit. So resolution quality, you can put it at good, best. But remember, this is gonna um, depict on how long your rendering process will take. So you know, be careful with that. So I'll keep it at I don't know, depend on how long it will take. So I'm gonna put it on uh, best. Now, let's go over to audio. And again, this will come down to you and how you want it. You can set it at, you can keep it at 44,000. It's pretty good. I like it. So I'm going to, but but if you want it to sound more crisp, uh, you can put it to 48,000. And if you want to go higher, I don't, you know, I don't suggest you do that. Then your, you know, your videos may start lagging on YouTube. So yeah, leave it at that. Um, yeah, good. Because I don't have a really good computer. So I'm going to leave it at that. And then next you can just save it. And there you go. You just saved a preset right there let me get rid of this one this one right here because there are two names let me get rid of this one as well this is just me I'm just getting rid of my old ones and there you go that's pretty much all you have to do to get you know high quality widescreen videos so I'm gonna press apply and I'm gonna press save and as you can see here I don't know if you can see it because it's blending in with the the video itself is blending in with the um the color of my Sony Vegas but you see the video has just changed and it went bigger so so let me go on to show you um, how to fix up the let me fix them get rid of that so let me go on to show you how to make your video more clear because sometimes when you make a video of that size ratio it tends to get blurry but what you're gonna want to do is come over here to the track that all your videos are on and you come right here come to track effects I mean FX I said effects <laughs> but come to track FX 
come down here to sharpness let me find it there we go Sony sharpness add and then click OK now you can mess with this and make it look as sharp as you want but first come up here and pick one that you want I usually pick medium for me and that will make your video much more sharper to the um, viewers instead of looking all blurry so I hope this video has helped you uh, and you know like I said think about your subscribers you know or your video viewers are they going to have a really powerful connection you know most of the time they don't or you know so yeah just think about it but for me I'm going to do all of my videos in high quality widescreen from now on so you don't have to worry about your videos lagging and pausing up on you so this has been your guy Devin the Geek. Please comment, rate, and subscribe and favorite this video and share it with a friend who has Sony Vegas and you know or share it with someone who you think should, you know, make their videos in high quality because you know it it you know, because that HD it can mess up people's connection and they don't want to sit there and watch a video that keeps freezing up on the mark that has to load that may take a few minutes or so, you know. So yeah, keep that in mind. And Davin the Geek is out. See you all later. Peace out. In conclusion, when it comes down to HD versus high quality, it's just going to have to come down to the user who's making the videos and their target audience. You know, you can ask yourself, could I have gotten more views if I made this in high quality instead of HD? You know, what my audience would have sat there and watched the whole video, you know, without it lagging on their connection or doing something like that you know you're gonna have to ask yourself some complex questions like that so me on the other hand I'm going to use high quality because I like it and I'm sure it's gonna stream better for my friends and my viewers out there so I'm all the way for high quality widescreen um, videos so yeah drop a comment if you need have any questions um, tell me which one do you like do you like HD or do you like high quality I like high quality, so, so yeah.